All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. We have a simple mixed operations problem here uh, that combines multiplication with division. Um, and this is a, a problem. Uh, I normally just stay away from these problems that uh, include the obelisk, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway here. Uh, I'm going to work through work through what I what I would consider to be the standard interpretation of it, or the most common interpretation of, of the way to solve this problem. Uh, if you'd like to, you can pause the video, try to work this one out yourself, and uh, we'll come back and discuss it later. All right, so the standard way that you would look at this um, through the normal order of operations convention, and um, often the, the Convention that's um, often known through acronyms such as PEMDAS or BODMAS, um, you would be solving multiplication and division left to right as you encounter them. Um, and the, the problem we'll run into, and we can discuss a little bit, is, is the use of the obelisk and how that's been interpreted. But the normal way here would be to, first of all, recognize you have your multiplication first, which is 9 times 4. 9 times 4 is 36. Uh, as you're moving left to right, you then have division. So you would do division, 36 divided by 4 is 9. And as you, you see, you have multiplication, division, then multiplication again. So you would have 9 times 9 equals 81. And that's that's following the uh, the order of operations. So your BODMAS, your PEMDAS. Um, but where you run into some some differences in interpretations, and you can go back and look at, uh, there's a book, Toich Algebra, from uh, Johann Rahn, from all the way back in 1659. You can go back and look. There's there's a lot of information about this book. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail, but uh, the obelisk basically was interpreted differently. Um, this symbol, um, if you look at it, it kind of looks like, you know, you've got this horizontal line and the two dots. You basically have numerator and denominator. Uh, so the way the old interpretation of this was, and there may be places that still do this, but uh, basically your 9 times 4 was looked at as being all in the numerator and 4 times 9 all in the denominator. Basically, everything to the left of the obelisk would be in the numerator. Everything to the right would be in the denominator. Now, that, um, if you go, well, let's first of all, let's go ahead and look at that. So I've, I've written it out that way, basically 9 times 4 um, over 4 times 9. Um, if you were to you know, do this, it you would have, uh, oh, let's see if I can change this, maybe make it a pen, but basically you've got... Uh, Pretty bad job of drawing in some parentheses here, but you'd have 9 times 4 divided by 4 times 9, 36 divided by 36, which would be 1. Now, that in order to get 1 using the order of operations convention, you would basically need to put parentheses around the 9 times 4 and parentheses around the 9 times 5, which uh, that's not, not being done here at all. Uh, you know, you would need to put some parentheses here, put parentheses here, and then, of course, your answer then would be 1 because you'd have 36 divided by 36. Um, but um, this, this is where you, you run into some confusion about the way this is uh, written. And I would say that probably the majority... Uh, of people that are following the strict interpretation of PEMDAS or BODMAS, they're coming up with the answer of 81, which is perfectly reasonable. Um, you will find some other texts, not just the Twitch algebra. I think there's, um, I can't recall the book from the 1800s, but there are some references where you will find the obelisk interpreted that way. And I think in some countries, the obelisk doesn't even, it doesn't even mean division. So, there is some confusion. Um, there is actually an ISO uh, recommendation of, of not using the obelisk for division. So anyhow, I just wanted to throw that out there for some food for thought. Um, you, uh, you will see a lot of arguments. You'll see this type of a problem listed online. 
and you'll see people make arguments for why it could be 81 or 1. Um, but I just wanted to throw out some of the, uh, the reasons why people might interpret it the way they do. Now, some people interpret things for the wrong reasons. You know, there's people that 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 studied Bodmus or PEMDAS and they're confused over, you know, they're thinking multiplication before division or division before multiplication just because they've memorized those six letters. So um, a lot of people may end up with 81 or 1, but actually have the wrong um, basis for, for coming up with that. But anyhow, enough enough on this problem. I just wanted to toss this out here uh, for some food for thought. Um, you know, I would suggest looking some of these things up. Look up, look up some articles about the obulus if you, if you're actually interested in in why it's not uh, recommended that much. But um, anyhow, that's enough for now. Um, hope everybody's having a great day. Try to come up with some more interesting puzzle problems, some interesting math problems, and uh, have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next video.